What? Resistant to primal influence as they are, they can investigate the towers without fear of being turned. We are glad to put our gifts to use, Commander. Mm. Gifted or not, Going behind enemy lines remains a perilous undertaking. But we must know more if we're to strike back at our foe. I'm counting on you. If it would give us the upper hand, I'd do it a hundred times over. We won't let you down. That concludes the briefing. You two, make ready and join your escort. Are you certain about this, Arunvald? I am. Come on, let's talk outside. You better not die. You better not die. Someone's dying in this damn patch. It's in the name. Back to the. Hello? What am I looking for? Arunvold, I admire your enthusiasm, but this is far more dangerous than anything you have done before. They're just keying it up. I know the risks. And I also know what's in store if we don't stop Fan Daniel from carrying out his plan. With this power of mine, I can make a difference. If I stood idly by, I would regret it for the rest of my life. And you, Fudola? Is this what you want? Are they both gonna die? What are you asking me for? It's not like I have any say in the matter. Don't pretend. We both know Commander Aldin gave you a chance to refuse. And you didn't. Hmm. <clears throat> it's better than sitting in a cell. So the Empire's finished, is it? But that's what they're all saying. That the great and glorious Garlemald slit its own throat. And now... From out of its twitching carcass crawls the Telophoroi with bloody Xenos at its head. I what fought a name. for Garlemald. Killed for Garlemald. What was I part of? I need to know. Whatever it is, I need to know. Very well. If your hearts are set on this, I shall not stand in your way. Stop. You you know what's going to happen now. Oh, man. Alphano, you have really tiny hands. I never noticed. Well... We'd best not keep them waiting any longer. No, you could just stay, hang out, never leave. Mayhap when all of this is over, we could take another trip to Loxeld. Don't, don't say I that. I would have you know I've become a rather capable swimmer since our last visit. Ha! <laughs> I'll believe that when I see it. Though, to be fair, getting into deep water does seem to be a scion's lot in life. Take care, eh? Aww. 
You just... You're not allowed to say when this is over, let's... God damn it, Alpha now. Well, it's pretty clear. It's pretty clear what's going on. But we both know I'd just be another soldier if it weren't for my gift. And I need to be a damn sight more than that given what's coming. I realize I can't hold a candle to a hero like the Warrior of Light or Alfino, for that matter. But... <laughs> he might look like he's 12, but he's seen more action than most people see in a lifetime. It does look no. like he's 12. The fact is, I'm nothing like them, and maybe I never will be. But I'll be damned if I don't try. Okay, just, just, just do hold on, because I remember you more than any other NPC in the game. That's gotta mean something. Of course. Uh, who am I talking to? <laughs> but but still, he's he's had nothing to do with this gift. I just like Arinvald in general. God damn it! Yep. They're counting on me, on us. So let's give it our all. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Thing. Can you hear me? It's Totaru! Oh, I'm happy to say we've managed to find Estinian. Sweet. And I'm sorry to say he went running off again the moment we told him about Bahamut. Of course. But he did mutter something about heading to Ishgard, so if you're quick, you might still be able to catch him. Teleportation. Explain. Even if we set out this instant, he may already have left by the time we arrive. Have her send the Bonanza to Ishgard. It may prove useful should we need to give chase. Guys, you've used teleportation in cutscenes. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Gladly. I'll see to it as soon as Krile and I get back to the Rising Stones. Good luck. Mm -hmm. While you go off on your dragoon hunt, Urianje and I will return to headquarters. We have much to tell the others. Okay. No sign of him. Not that I've ever met him before, but the way Alphano goes on about him, I'm fairly sure I could pick him out in a crowd. Dragoon. Speaking of which, it does seem awfully quiet. If the erstwhile Azure Dragoon had returned to Ishgard, would it not be a source of general excitement? Azure? First the Scion's coin keeper, and now you. I'm beginning to think these meetings are more than mere coincidence. Kane. Not that I'm complaining. It's been too long. Too long? You know her? You look an ilm taller and twice <laughs> as rugged. It suits <laughs> oh my you, God. Alphano. I was actually <laughs> confused. You gonna slap him? Come on, just jump up there and slap him. Quieter, though. Have you been giving him lessons on how to be the strong, silent type? I... am not... Alphano! Mm-hmm. <laughs> if the two of you are such firm friends, perhaps you should remember what he looks like. And what do you mean, rugged? Oh, had my I brother mean... mentioned what an oaf you are, I'd never have bothered looking for you in the first place. Estinian Wormblood, the Azure Dragoon. He who fought and felled the Dread Worm Nidhogg at the Warrior of Light's side. <laughs> to think the day would come when I should see this living legend with my own eyes. Look at that sparkle. Would someone mind explaining what is going on? Is everything all right? I thought I heard Alizé shouting. 
No, you're Alice. Estinian! It's been too long. It's really just lipstick that separates them. I, Tiamat, his mate. Even now she remains imprisoned on Azisla, though her remorse binds her faster than any shackle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I see. As the one who first summoned Bahamut, you believe she may be able to shine some light on his latest incarnation. Makes sense. Might I suggest that we make the journey to Azisla together? I'm not sure if Tataru mentioned this, but we Scions have an airship of our own now. Terrible name. I see no reason why not. Assuming your sister can bear the thought of sharing a deck with me. <laughs> Be my guest. But confuse me with Alphano again and I'll throw you overboard. I don't know who he thinks he is, but he's nothing like Elfano painted him to be. You just made one mistake. I will admit, he is not exactly as I imagined him either. Based on what I had read of the man, I think I was expecting someone a little less... blunt? Who wrote that book? <laughs> I, I know. Wait a minute. So... If he grabbed the dragons and created a lunar Bahamut because of all the dra uh, the whatevers, is he trying to do that with everything else? Uh, like taking the Ixali to make a lunar Garuda? I know, right? <laughs> it's, it's gonna happen. Santa Lan Infan Antosk goes and on. Man, I want to see you take out Van Daniel. Uh, you said all that in that line? Interesting. You two were exposed to his influence. I'm afraid that Stinian and I have little to show for our efforts. Did you find anything? Uh, a node which smelled like burnt hair. We did find that. Probably. A chirruping node that would spontaneously warn me about neglecting the dragon restraints. I think that's what we're looking for. Spontaneously, you say? Well, that does sound promising. It's almost suspiciously so, in fact. But then you were in possession of the spirit vessel. Hmm. I dare say it is indeed the note of which uh, Grahatia spoke. And it was chirruping, you say? Very well, let's take a closer look. Uh, Ren. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? I don't know. It's Bahamut. He's been sighted over Pagalthan. Wait, 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 wait. Are he we going to fight the him? the largest amount of settlement in the region, at the head of a vast host, including dragons. Uh. Did you hear all that, Alpha? No. You'd best rejoin your comrades. I'll make my own way. Our enemy awaits, shall we? Are you... What a badass. And he's gone. I don't like what's gonna happen after... after this dungeon. What is this called? Death unto dawn, unto dawn. Something, something's happening. Are involved, probably. I don't. It sucks because 
<laughs> there, there were so many death flags, it just became a little too, too clear. It's probably going to ruin the impact, knowing that I know that, because of all the death flags leading into it. But what can you do? I don't like having gold saucer music going into this. <laughs> okay. Oh, everyone's got badass outfits. Wow. I like the song. <laughs> it's weird being back in a place like this for like a brand new dungeon though. There you go. Good. He saw my gear. I need to turn this music up. Don't worry, I probably boosted here. I didn't even have to heal you. Oops. <laughs> That's the wrong button. Uh, you can probably keep go. Oh, they have the little arrows pointing. Yeah, I forgot about that. You totally got it. it. It's fine. It's fine. You don't have to keep going. But the path is open. I don't know. Could, could we have kept going? Is anything blocked? Oh, oh it was. Okay. Thank you, Overdrive. Let me show you the way. <laughs> Thanks. Ooh. Okay. I'm Holuck. Okay, there's towers on the edge. Uh, clearly, critical rips. Just tank buster. I don't know what the towers. Ah, lightning towers. And do we do we run out? Yeah, we can run out now. Place them and run out. Yeah, it's fine. They wouldn't have known. Let me guess. Get to the side. Oh, it's just it's just damage. And if you get hit by the lightning, you probably take extra damage. Okay. Those are usually circles around them. Oh. Oh, okay. I keep forgetting to like put up dots and stuff. I always forget when I'm like looking at new stuff. Okay. Uh well and a lightning bolt. Let's see, can I just like throw it in and no, I'm gonna still get a stack. There was probably safe ones. Whew. He'll be fine. Right? You got mana... No. No, you don't. That's cool. That's fine. Critical rip! Anything. This was just the AoE orbs. Thing. Yeah, get away from the big one. So, yeah, you can just throw them right in between these. Good. <laughs> Sorry. My inner Let's Player is just coming out and I'm just talking to myself. Uh, you get a shield. Oh, 
that'd be fine. Ooh, that was a quick one. It's kind of nice not doing it with my uh, friends sometimes because they kill stuff so, so fast we don't even we don't even get to see half the mechanics. <laughs> even the new stuff, it's it's crazy. Okay, you're probably gonna, yeah. Ooh, a cool chest. Ah, uh, 505. <laughs> uh, pat, what pass. took you so long? The amount are in trouble. Let's split up. Estenian. Yama just did. How much was that? 820k? It was that 82k. Up. Oh. Kind of looked like it did 820, honestly. There's only two enemies. What am I doing? Treasure. I mean, do these look good? Ow, what that? No. No, no, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> Ads fight? Is, is that what's going on? Uh, okay. Something going on in the background. Oh, oh, he's right back there. Okay. You're gonna be more complicated than this, clearly. Oh, what the? Leap on the fortress and destroy the core. Ooh. Okay. Defensive reaction. Uh, so it's a DPS check. Is this supposed to hurt? I mean, it, it does kind of hurt, <laughs> honestly. Not really, though. Go one over. Hit him from here. Okay. Okay, they've been doing a lot of this lately. It's not exactly like... Oh, okay. Uh, Guardian. I missed those missiles. Did you get hit by one? Oh, oh you're fine. Oh, I got hit by one. Knockback? Oh, okay. That hurt a little bit. Maybe I should cure three this one. Do I have to kill it? I don't know, it's dead. It's gone. You fight well. Our, our brethren will hear your brave deeds. Sure. Telotech? Ooh. 
Wow. I, oh, right. I'm getting so distracted here. Look at that. That looks great. But oh, okay. What's your plan? What? <laughs> Ooh. Okay, this is a fascinating dungeon. I mean, it's, it's not exactly different from other dungeons, but visually and like everything, yeah. Oh, the tank's still not here. Oh, oh okay, that's that's fine. I'll take. There he is. I'm so distracted. I'm just running into the enemy at this point. Is that what happened? Or did they come to us? I don't... Was there... There was no Lunar Bahama. I don't think that's related to that. Holy shit, we're actually fighting it. Uh -oh. Did you get him? Watch a bus fight we don't have to actually do. Okay. Huh. Okay. Uh, pass. How does this look? Decent. I want to see the healing one. I don't have aiming. It's not appropriate for me to do that. To take it. I don't know, it's, it's a dungeon, so it can't be that hard, but still. Twisted Scream. Okay, okay, big AoEs, let's see. So right here. Uh... Here, three. Wait. Yes. <laughs> okay, at least we're getting this. Uh, I hope he does that like a hundred times in a row. I, I just love that move. Mega Flare. Uh, hey, I, you can go back. Oh. Oh, I miss T T13 now. Okay, you're gonna. Oh! I see. I I thought it was gonna be a knockback. <laughs> Con, Rye. Oh. Okay. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. Lunar flare. Holy shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, you'll be fine. That didn't do any damage. What? 
Come on, it was called Lunar Flare. You gotta do something. I should put... No, nope, too late. There we go. There's some damage. Does I forget to put my dots up again? Guys. Guys, the asylum's... That's fine. It's fine. Two... Three, four. That's it. Lunar Bahamut. You're just a shade of the real thing. You need to do like t ten more of those. It's already almost dead too. Still cool. Definitely cool. Okay. Okay. Um. Uh huh. <laughs> There's quite a few of those. Yeah, it's it's just not doing enough. Oh, the middle. They're dead. Sir? It was, it was a cool fight. I'm surprised we fought him already, though. And did he just disappear? Like, there's no way. I thought he was going to be a big threat. I don't know. I don't know. Oh. What in Ralga's name happened here? The gods only know. But you can bet these poor sods aren't here by choice. L Lunar Ifrit coming? Quickly! We've got to get them free! Oh, come on, he just touched him. He Get barely back. moved him. Well, no. that's set off. What have I done? It's too late for them. We're leaving now. Oh, boy. Lunar Ifrit. Yeah, I was right. That's no. bad, though. No! Don't you dare! We came together and we're leaving together. Oh God! At least take out your shield, damn it. <sighs> no. It's pretty clear what happened there. He's probably gonna live, but he's injured, right? He doesn't count as the death in Death Unto Dawn. Please. I don't want anyone to die. I don't want him to die either. But I've been guessing that since the beginning of this stupid thing. Because death flags. Instead of standing around there gawping, why don't you tell your friend to stop whining like an underfed dog? People are fighting for their lives in there. Alpha now. Stop whining like an underfed dog. Please, tell me something, anything. Another one. I can't even see you. Whatever. Another one come to see the lad in silver armor. Master Damia... La D Damia... Damia... Liat is attending to him as we speak. If you would be so kind as to wait. 
What did Master Him uh, say? Tell me his exact words and how to pronounce his name. Enough, Alphano. This isn't helping. Don't be an underfed dog. <laughs> but you're right. Forgive me. <sighs> when we said our farewells to Arnvald, I was afraid that something like this might happen. But now that it has, all we can do is wait. Yeah. This, this isn't a smile of happiness. I'm just laughing an underfed dog. God, learn how to show emotions. Fudola, <laughs> have you been waiting here all this time? He protected her. They don't know that. We have done what we can. The rest is up to him. May we see him? What do you mean? I do not think that wise. You must let him sleep. I could just step in there and look at him. Great, now I'm being an underfed dog. Thank you for bringing him back. He owes you his life. I just... I, I just wish I had been there. Perhaps... Uh, I don't know. Perhaps I could have... Nope. Could have what? Got tempered? Don't flatter yourself. You can't save everyone. No one can. Not even the warrior of bloody light. People die all the time, for no good reason. And those who take up the sword die quicker than most. If you're going to shed a tear every time a soldier falls on the battlefield, you'd best stay away. It's no place for the weak of heart. Mm. It Truth may words. be. That victory cannot be won without cost. But all life is precious, and I refuse to shrug at its loss. Also true words. All life is precious! <laughs> oh, you need to grow up, little man. Before your sparkling ideals get everyone killed. Uh, either mean or foreshadowing. You're right. He is idealistic. But the world has more than its fair share of realists, like you and me. It's people like him who dare to dream that things could be better and make it happen against all the odds. They are the ones whose names live on forever. The heroes. Good to the see battlefield's it. littered with would-be heroes. At this rate, you'll not be next. But it's Astinian's And what'll become of your precious dreams then? They'll be gone. Like dust on the wind. Well, it's very pessimistic. She Dreams has been worth herself. fighting for. Don't die so easily. I like that line. After hearing what transpired in the first, I began to question the true nature of Heidelin's blessing. A topic Ooh. I have discussed at some length with Yishtola. We were wondering, when was the last time Heidelin spoke to you directly? Holy shit, when was that? 
I only remember, like, around Midgar summer, she, she disappeared, but then I got it back in Heaven's Ward. Uh, towards the end? I, I don't... I don't remember. Wait, that day in the Crystarium. I don't remember anything. That wasn't her. That was... That was... Elidibus. I think it was the near the end of the Dragon Song War. When you regained her blessing, was it not? But never since. Not in all your time in the first, when you faced the unsundered, the very heart of Zodiac. Mm -hmm. History shows us that Hydlin is able to awaken the echo in her chosen, convey her will directly, and grant the blessing of light. Mm. To our knowledge, however, she has not sought to intervene in man's affairs for some considerable time. Might not the explanation for that lie with her choice of champion? Mayhap she is content to trust in her judgment. Interesting. Mayhap she is. But following my initial discussion with Kryle, I made inquiries of my own. And as far as I am able to tell, Hydalin has not made her will known to anyone. During my time in the First, the Oracle of Light spoke to me through Reen. But that was not the will of Hydaelyn. It was Minfilia herself. Indeed. And while she and Hydaelyn were inextricably linked, Minfilia yet acted of her own volition. A messenger, yes, but one who spoke with her own voice. I wonder, could Hydaelyn's silence suggest the presence of some disruptive force, perhaps? Some obstacle to communication? While I share Urianger's high opinion of your conduct, I see no reason why she would deny you her guidance altogether. Then again, who am I to say? The oh, fact man. is, we simply don't know. But if the explanation is to be found anywhere, I can think of worse places to look than the archives of Charlian, and their research on the Ethereal Sea in particular. I want it, I want it to know now, though. <laughs> Damn it. Yep. Resolved though I am to go, believe me when I say that I take no pleasure in the thought of leaving you a member short. Now of all times. Just why you want her Estinian to take. Estinian, we stand on the eve of a struggle that will decide the fate of this star. One in which we scions may play a telling part. Yet we are but few in number. And so I must ask you again. Will you join us? We need a dragoon in our trust party. You see the world the way you want it to be. I see the world the way it is. You are idealistic to a fault. But I know you would never turn your back on those in need. Never close your eyes to their suffering. And somehow, your deeds lend truth to your words, giving the lie to my doubts in so doing. Mm. I have seen others draw strength from your belief. In Ishgard, in Alamigo, you inspired them to stand up and fight. To win, no less. And even when you lost those you held dear, you carried their spirit with you and made their memory your guiding light. The burden of so many hopes and dreams would be too heavy for most to bear. But you, Bear it willingly, as you have shown me. Some dreams are too important to let go. If you have need of my strength, it's yours. 
After all you've done, how could I refuse? Nice. Thank you, Estinian. We really needed him. <laughs> Whatever challenges await us, I shall not falter. You have my word. Hmm. Graha and Estinian joining? Jeez. And now I may bid you farewell. Safe in the knowledge that all is as it should be. In this little corner of the world, at least. Wait, 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 we haven't even had a quest called Death Unto Dawn. And Dawn. We're not already done, are we? Oh, you're still looking for a weapon? That looks like Masamune. Well, does this one meet with your approval? It's almost too fancy. Apparently not. Or... Could it be that you're still upset about the dragons? You are unwise to remind me of so costly a failure. It will not affect our plans, I trust. Oh, hardly at all. Though, admittedly, the chances of us being able to procure any more Merisidian dragons are rather slimmer following Tiamat's reappearance. God, look at that weapon. Which one is that? Oh, but the seeds have been sown, my lord. We have only to wait for them to quicken. Mm -hmm. Speaking of preparations, is it safe to assume that you will be ready to control you-know-what? The hour draws nigh. This nation, forged for Asian ends, will finally prove its worth. <laughs> A mighty empire, now no more than an instrument of this star's destruction. What a pleasure it will be to put it to use. What are you talking Which about? Which brings me back to our earlier topic. My lord, while I appreciate that it is not an easy decision, it really is past time you chose your weapon. Oh, take that mace. There is one that I have been meaning to test. Is it, is it the new job? <laughs> Be sweet if they like revealed the new job this way. Well, well, not quite what I was expecting. Though I will say, it does seem rather apt. Are you... They don't show it. <laughs> it's the new job. You, you son of a bitch. All I know it was it was metal. So clearly... <sighs> How dare you? What a teaser. I, I bet it's a scythe. Or something. I don't know. I really I really don't know. It could be anything. Assholes. <laughs> but that's enough of my rambling. Off you go and get some rest. There are many if there are any developments, I'll promise you'll be the first to know. That was the end. Really? There wasn't Usually the main scenario quest? Uh, death unto dawn is not even a name in here. Really? Yeah, it, it threw me off because usually, usually the name of the quest is in there. Well, is it? Actually, I don't even know if it is. Reflections in crystal. Echoes of the fallen star. Uh, vow, vows of virtue, deeds of cruelty, but the, but no. Death Unto Dawn? Is it because it's a two-parter and Death Unto Dawn? Yeah, this is... I see. 
Yeah, because they said they were going to break this up and the story's not done. There's still one more patch, and I'm guessing it's going to be the same patch. Maybe use the same trailer and everything. I don't know. I have to go back and look at the trailer. I don't remember, like, if everything was actually shown there. But, huh. Wow. That didn't take too long. Surprisingly. This is a little shorter, but, you know. We got one more patch to go before, uh, whenever it releases <laughs> in the fall. So, all right, I guess that's it.